With increasing demand for details in games and feature films, procedural generation methods are now an integral part of content authoring tools. Trying to speed up the inherently parallel generation process, researchers brought specific procedural approaches to the GPU. Previous approaches, however, fall short in generality and hardly provide insights in how to efficiently execute procedural processes on the GPU. Thus, we believe there is a need for systematic parallelization of general procedural methods. Our approach efficiently parallelizes procedural generation on the GPU. Instead of focusing on a specific procedural method, we are able to parallelize any method that can be described by a graph, such as L systems, shape grammars, or stack-based generation languages. The starting point for our technique is a common representation that describes both the procedural generation and the execution on the GPU. Consider the following shape grammar description of a manager sponge. We can represent this process with a graph, the operator graph, by taking the operations as vertices and the order dependencies as edges. With this graph we can see that every concurrent branch is an opportunity for parallel execution. This is, per se, a valid parallel execution scheme. However, in order to efficiently execute procedural processes on the GPU, we have to consider many factors such as load balancing, thread divergence, and costly memory accesses. To balance the workload, operation executions must be halted and intermediary objects move from multiprocessor to global memory. To avoid divergence, they need to be sorted and distributed between available multiprocessors. Those procedures involve costly memory accesses. On the other hand, if operation executions are not halted, those memory accesses can be averted, but there is no chance for load balancing or divergence control. In practice, best performance is achieved with a compromise between immediately execution an operation or postponing it for later execution. This decision, referred by us as a schedule, happens at the edges of the graph. When traversing an edge corresponds to a postponed execution, we call it a dynamic edge. When it corresponds to an immediate execution, we call it static. Interestingly, all approaches found in previous works can be represented by a scheduling. But amidst all schedulings, which one performs best? Unfortunately, the best scheduling cannot be analytically found. It depends on many factors like the GPU architecture, workload size, operations used, etc. Thus, searching the partitioning space is the only way to find the best schedule. An exhaustive search, however, is not always possible. To mitigate this problem, we introduce heuristics based on parallel programming principles that can significantly reduce the search space. To evaluate our technique, we chose test cases according to their relevance for testing the heuristics and comparing the previous works. For instance, the 3D tree with four recursions, adapted from Linda Meyer's book, was speeded up 14 times with our best performing scheduling. Increasing the amount of recursions and branches for the same tree led to even better results. In conclusion, our optimizer is able to significantly increase performance of test cases with heavy workload. Also, for non-trivial grammars, the best performing scheduling does not correspond to any of the approaches employed by previous works. Thanks for watching.